hi guys and welcome back to my channel um due to many many requests i will be filming um like a little get ready with me today um i'm not doing anything special i'm just going to the mall i think it's a really gloomy day like i wish i could show you behind here but it is just cloudy i don't know what's wrong with atlanta right now but there's barely any sun but yeah i didn't want to film because i don't really have a good nice setup and i'm on like a I'm on like vacation. I'm just visiting my grandparents right now, but I really don't have anything else to do, so I decided to just film a get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup. Probably just gonna fix my hair a little bit, like wet the curls, and then change my outfit. And yeah. And before we get into this, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe like go do that right now and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy and comment below what other types of videos you guys would like to see and also excuse any noise that you guys might hear like i'm by the window and there'll be cars passing by once in a while but yeah enough of me talking let's just get right into the video so my face is already moisturized i'm just going to be using like the mac strobe cream mine looks pretty dirty and this is the pink one like the pink light I think that's what it's called. My skin has actually been doing not that bad. Um, it is really humid in Atlanta. And like right now it's raining and stuff. These past couple days. Compared to like Edmonton where I live. Where it is super dry. So it kind of took like my skin a couple days to get used to it. But right now it's pretty cleared up. Like it might not look like it on camera. I'm not sure. But it's pretty cleared up to me. So for my brows, I like trying like different techniques and stuff and I've been liking just using eyeshadow, like a brown eyeshadow or like a, like a dark brown kind of thing. And of course I'm using the James Charles palette and I like using these two shades right here. Like I start with a lighter one and then for like the tail I'll put on the dark one. But I've been liking the powder gives me the color that i need and it doesn't really make it any gloss like doesn't make it glossy or anything so that's nice like i just wish my eyebrows were like already done and i feel like they don't fit my face shape so i always gotta like alter it you'll see what i mean like i, I think like the tail just needs to be longer maybe i'll get microbladed or something because my brow shape is not doing me any justice. Now I'm going to go in with the darker brown for the tail. Like right here. You see that? It just looks way better. And I like like the snatch look nowadays. Like when my brows are kind of more straight. It gives you like that lift. It's like a lot of people are doing like the... What's it called? Something threading. Thread lift or whatever it's called. You can literally get that look by just shaving the tails of your brows like i don't have to because it doesn't even grow at the end but i don't know this is like a non-invasive way to get that lift and now to conceal i use the la girl pro conceal in warm honey I like making this face, like, doing this, and then making that, like, straight line. Today's been a pretty good brow day. Like, I usually have some troubles sometimes. But anyways, I'm just blending that concealer. It looks pretty even to me. Not perfect, but whatever i have this it's called fill and fix brow shaper um i guess the shade is called hypnotize and this is by il maquillage oh no, no no the shade is espresso but i guess it's called the hypnotize brow shaper whatever but it's from il maquillage they sent me this with a couple of other items as well but i'm really liking it because i used to use mascara but this is not like black <laughs> it's a good nice dark brown and I love like the look of it you'll see just like that 
Look at that. I'm just gonna do the other eye. I start at the end, because when you first like get it out, it's gonna have a lot of product. Focus that towards the end, and then, ah, oops. And then slowly come to the front. Okay, now the brows are done. I'm gonna start off by color correcting with the LA Girl, like, orange concealer. Yes, I still color correct. I feel like a lot of people are not, but I have to. I honestly see a difference if I do and if I don't. And I'm, I'm just putting like a little bit. A little bit makes a difference. So I just blended that out. Just gently and that's all I need. I just like need a light, light layer. And then I go in with Toffee. Again, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm just gonna put that wherever I applied the color corrector. I filmed a vlog, like a mini vlog, for like my trip, like the past couple of days. Um, I hope it like turns out well. But you guys like let me know if you like the vlogs, if you want more, and like what do you guys want me to improve on because i felt really like awkward doing them but at the same time it's like i want to get out of my comfort zone and you know start vlogging more i feel like you guys will get to know me better and see like my personality but you guys have to tell me like what do you guys think of it and all that if you hear some talking that's my grandma I'm not gonna tell her to be quiet in her own household. <laughs> this is the NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I've been loving it and I'm in the shade Macau, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Macau. I love this foundation, you guys. It's so light, it's exactly what I wanted. Um, and it matches me pretty well. The Huda was kind of more orange on me, I felt. And it was just getting too heavy. Like, I didn't want something that I could feel on my face. That makes sense. And this is so light, you guys. So, so light. And a little bit goes a long way. Like, I can just keep blending it. And it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face. Like, look. Look at how it matches. I love it. And then on my forehead, just a tiny bit. I don't like doing too much on my forehead. And I just take, a, like, my Morphe... Um, sponge and I just blend it into my skin and this is supposed to be like a shiny foundation but it's actually like pretty matte it's like a matte where you still have some sheen to it which I like so you're not like dry I feel like the Fenty is like matte matte and this is like a good type of matte if you guys can see speaking of Fenty I'm taking their concealer brush just has 180 on it taking a little bit of warm honey and applying that here a little bit there over here dimension back to my face and then yeah just blend with the morphe sponge i really like this sponge too it's kind of like tougher, like not tougher, but um, it doesn't um, break easily like the, oh, I forget the name, the orange ones. I totally forget the name of them. <laughs> so satisfying to see like the dimension come back in your face um i've been mixing a medium beige and creamy beige together and i use that as my highlight and i bring that like into my nose kind of like a reverse um what's called contouring
the key to like contouring your nose is good lighting if you have trash lighting uh, your nose is gonna be like sideways or something it's gonna be off and i forgot my like marcel setting powder at home like in back in edmonton but i did bring like my two fancy ones so this is like the bigger one i have is cashew and the smaller one is banana so i use this to like brighten my under eyes and then i use this all over my face i'm gonna be taking like a blending brush like this i'm gonna use that first before i go in with the sponge To make sure it goes in the creases and everything. My nose is like itching and everything. My throat. I have horrible allergies every time I come here. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm allergic to. I think it might be like the trees or something. Now I'm like setting it, setting it. And I just pat it into my skin. Everything is all set. Now to lighten up the under eye, I'm going in with banana. And just stamp that. Sort of over here, here, and I'm still using the same shades to contour so. That's still the same, it's still from the Morphe and James Charles palette. I'm gonna go contour first, and then I'm a bronze. I love the shadow this brown creates, like look at that. Perfect. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm just bring up the forehead. A little tall line. For my nose, I use like a little bit more of a denser brush so I can have like more precision. I'm gonna take this and look straight ahead. Don't look to the side. Okay, why is this black? I'll fix it. The bottom to like shorten the nose. And then I start from like where my brows are. And then just follow like that little outline that I already made from the powder. Like I don't need to do too much, but a little bit. There's a nose contour, not too much. I think, I can't really tell the lighting. It was like a shadow getting created, but anyways. Now to bronze, and I left my bronzer brush at home, so that's fantastic. And I have this Il Maquillage Bronzer. It's a mineral baked bronzer in the shade Waka Waka. Hmm. I thought I had a different shade. And it's pretty like uh like dusty, like it picks up a lot. So be careful. I wanna see if I can fix this contour. I think that fixed it. It kinda has like a red bronzer. Like it's kind of like more red. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I like it. And then I use it on the sides of my nose as well. To kind of like blend everything together. Now if you're someone like me who likes 
like a nice bronze bronze to look um, I'm gonna be taking like my blush brush that I use I don't know where I got it and the same like bronzers I used to use back in like the summertime these two I blend those and I apply those as like bronzer That's what I like. You guys are always asking me what I use, like bronzers and stuff, and this is basically the combo. And now for some blush. I have this Il Maquillage one. It's a Lady Marmalade. The shade is Lady Marmalade and it's their mineral baked blush. It kind of has like a sheen to it too. It's cute. I'll show you. See that? So it gives me like a highlight. It's not too much and I kind of want more blush, I think. I'm going to be using the one that I don't know like the name of. It's my Stila blush. It's just like a perfect pink for me. My favorite. Just brightens up everything. Brings life back to my face. And I'm just going to sweep the powder by using like the yellow that I always use from the James Charles palette. This part is still the same. Something that is different is my highlighter. I love, love this new highlighter that I got. It's from Jouer. The shade is Citrine. And it's their powder highlighter. It's all says. Guys, when I tell you this stuff is dangerous, it is dangerous. Like, just one tap is all you need. And that's it. The highlight is crazy. I'll apply more. Once I've set everything, let me just, I love it. And for my nose, taking just like a little brush. And being precise with it. And a little bit. And then I'm also going to put that in the inner corners. Like, look at how blinding that is. So blinding. And then over here as well. Okay. And now we set. And I'm using my Morphe setting mist. Now for eyeshadow, I haven't been using a lot of eyeshadow. I just use one shade, which is like this one right here. It's like a burnt, burnt orange shade. I'm just using like my Morphe brush. I kind of like like the natural shade of my eyelids, and I just use this on the lid. That's it. Whatever's left on the brush. Bring that out. And then using like a smaller brush, I'm going to be using this shade right here, the one right next to it. So like the ones I use for my bronzer, and I'm putting the darker one on my bottom lashes on my bottom lash line. That is pretty much what I do. 
all the time. And now using like a really tiny, like pointed um, brush, I like to get like a highlighting shade, whatever shade, and just place it on my waterline. It opens up my eyes very well. You don't have to do this if you're not comfortable with it, but I feel like I have to. Like nowadays, I feel like I just look off without it. Like it really opens your eye up. I'm debating if I should do like a wing. I think I'll just do like a, a wing with eyeshadow. Like a dark brown. A really messy wing. Yeah, something like that. Now, can I replicate it on this side? Stay tuned. Now I'm just applying my mascara, and this is the Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. I just really like the brush on this. And I think I like the browner, like the brown packaging one, like the regular one, better. But they didn't have it, so I just, I just took this one. This one kind of irritates my eyes. Like, I have to really take it off well at night, or my eyes start, my eyes, uh, start running. But I mean, beauty's pain, no? Now, for lashes, these are the Lily Lashes in Barcelona. And these are more, like, is it tapered, or, like, they're kind of, like, more, um, they're not round, like the other shape, like there's more lashes over here. So kind of like gives you like that cat eye kind of effect. There are the lashes. They're so pretty. They're not doing so much, but they're just doing enough, you know? And lastly for the lips, it's pretty much been the same. Chestnut lip liner by MAC. There's the lip liner, and I'm still using um, my Lip Stories in number one. And then I'm using the Il Maquillage, um, I guess this is called Lip Gloss, it, or yeah, Lip Gloss in Pink Ice. It's hella pretty. You guys will see. It's kind of like. Look at that. It's just so pretty. Like, I don't even know what the shade this is. Kind of like. Holographic. But, like, kind of dual chrome. I think it's like a pink and blue shift. That's what I see. I don't know. but it's really nice the face is done now let's go do my hair I went ahead and changed I don't know why the color is not picking up I'm just wearing this shirt some jeans Ugh. my Jordans and then this jacket just a simple outfit because I'm just going to the mall and I hate like wearing bulky stuff to the mall I'm just gonna wet my hair a little bit we'll brush out the ends later I think I'll keep it in the ponytail kind of liked it like that like a messy ponytail situation but I just want to make sure this part is flat there's really like no hair brushes in this house and I'm used to like coming from a house where we have every kind of hairbrush I probably should have just brought one but I'm gonna first put it into a ponytail and then I'll wet the hair that's in the back so something like this I guess I need this ponytail I 
think I like the ears like that. Is it like this? Or do I want the ears? The ears out or the ears in? Maybe the ears in. I don't know if that looks weird, but like, you know? I think that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some concealer. Just in the middle part. That should be okay. I'm just gonna wet this part now let me brush it I like the curls on this hair and the hair is pretty soft so it doesn't look too um it's like not too bulky even though it is like 180 density it's pretty dense I can still work with it I've been liking 150 and like 130 density for wigs. That's when it looks most natural. It's like when it's flat. But then when you do want volume, I guess. Like with blonde hair or something. I guess that would make sense. But I've been liking low density. And we're just taking this African Pride Shade Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding. I don't know if you can see that. There's the ponytail, and I think my edges need a bit more, like, fixing up. And this is the Argan Oil Gel by Ampro. I like Ampro. <coughs> doesn't flake too, too much. Still a little bit of flaking, but not that bad. I think it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let me put my jacket on. And I am ready to go. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. So I'm sitting here editing and I just realized that I didn't completely like film the outro. Um, my camera died I think. Or something like that but um if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up um comment what you would like to see next and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in a different video